Put in that dark bitch, stop in my heart, bitch, not on her carpet, and look on her scar, bitch. You a girl bleed, my girl skew, your girl sleeping, my girl dream. They all creamy, we all creamy. Really have an intro for this video because this is like Finders keepers. This is something serious. I truly this this is something serious to me and I this means a lot to me. And I just want to talk about it. As of now. So there's five things in this not this game, but in Gears of War 4 that I truly feel like it's an issue right now. It some of them are in-game mechanics, some of them isn't. But I'm gonna share my opinions with you guys. You guys can let me know how you guys feel about this. If you guys think domes are stupid for thinking this, or I agree with what you're saying, domes. All right. So first thing I see as an issue right now is the fact that content creation on gears. I truly believe that we need more people creating content. There isn't enough people creating content, and I feel like it's affecting the game right now. I don't know what it is. Like, I don't know what can probably fix that. But I feel like that's a big issue right now due to the fact that... Come on, man. If there was more pro players uploading content, the scene would grow a lot quicker. Having me upload content and summons and identives... Like... Yes, we're uploading content, maybe some more than others, but at least we're uploading content. Now, why can't other people besides us upload more content that's in the pro scene? I think, I think there's a lot more people out there that need to upload, like, content, something, bro. Like, there needs to be someone more than just me summons and identities or whoever else does a night from all from splice then should be uploading content to YouTube now I do know there's people like shadows right he's uploading content daily content or at least trying to um Zeus is uploading content but then they're, they're not in the pro scene like I want pro players to upload content too like I want to see scrims uploaded. I want to see people. I want to see that them uploading tutorials. Maybe, maybe not even tutorials. What about some gameplay? Franchise Echo from Echo Fox. Like, bro, watching them scrim, you learn so much. I mean, I'm not even saying this like because I'm friends with them. I'm being like so serious. Like, Echo Fox is one of the most dominant teams in the game, and it's not because of their skill. It's like their teamwork. You want to watch them play just to see what they're doing. So why, like, I never understood why they, they're not uploading content. I mean, bro, like, if you guys are uploading content 24-7, not even 24-7, at least twice or three times a week, your scrims or, like, even gameplay videos, the scene will grow so much quicker. It's, like, right now we're growing, but it's, like, a, at a steady pace. Like, we can actually have the scene blow up if everybody's uploading content. Not even everybody. 50% of the pro players. Or even, or even 40 Another thing I see as a problem right now is, um, like those Twitch streamers. Like, that's another thing that also goes under content. There's not enough people streaming Gao. We need more people streaming Gao. More pro players streaming Gao. If I don't want to watch Domes, hey, I'm going to go to the fucking, I'm going to go to Franchise stream. If I don't want to watch Franchise, I'll go to the Explosive stream. If I don't want to watch Explosive, I'll watch Mental and, like, so forth. That, I feel, needs to change also. Like, more people need to be streaming on Twitch. Another thing I see as an issue, and it's not even like anything related to people or even pro players at the moment, is I truly feel that the game needs to stop not changing, but this beta needs to end. Season 2 Pro League is coming is coming in, like, literally about to start. It's about 6 months away. That's when the first line event starts for Season 2. And we still haven't even gotten, like, the official update. We're still on beta mode. So we don't know if the beta is actually going to stay in the game. Which beta is going to stay in the game. We don't know none of that. All we know is there's going to be there's a beta out. And we're playing in the beta in the scrims. Because we know that one of the betas at least are going to stay in the game right now. At least one of them. So us not having that freedom right now. 
Freedom of knowledge of knowing what's actually gonna happen, like, because they should give us like at least collision should at least tell us, yo, you guys are gonna probably, probably at least a maybe had a 2.2 or a 2.1 at the Mexico land, because the first MLG event is in Mexico. So that being said, this beta thing needs to come to an end. They need to foreclose everything, just close the beta, end the beta. Have your official decision because whatever decision they end up going with, I'll be fine with. I'll get used to the game regardless. So then the, if they end up sticking with a 2.2 or a 2.0, 2.1, 1.0 doesn't matter. I'm gonna play the game regardless. The beta needs to come to an end. Another thing I see a lot is amateurs, not amateurs, but free agents are not forming teams. There's a lot of free agents out there that have egos. What I mean by that, it's like they haven't been to land yet and they're egoing other players or they're egoing each other to a certain point where they're just not even going to bother teaming with each other. They're like, oh man, this guy's gamer tag is um, Monkey Man. Um, I'm not going to scrim with him because his gamer tag is Monkey Man. What type of logic is behind that, bro? Like, too many Gears of War players have an ego to a certain extent, like, they just won't even scrim the person. For example, me, for example, in-game and scrims, I talk a lot of shit, but that's just me talking shit in-game. After the game is over, I'm cool with them. Even at a LAN event, when at a LAN event, I get up from my chair, talk talk crap to them, like, now I'm not talking crap in a bad way, I'm not, I'm not taking no personal shots in the actual, like, LAN event. The way I talk shit, I'd be like, oh my god, you suck. Like, I be talking shit like that, but I never take personal shots to the point where, like, I'm talking about guys, the guy's family or looks or, like, any of that bullshit. Whenever I talk shit about someone in game, when I'm in game and I'm in in game mood and I'm in a competitive setting, when there's money on the line, I talk shit in game to hype myself up. So that's how I get hype in game. Your boy Domes gets hype off of talking trash, like off of like momentum after like feeling. I personally feel like I'm the best player in the game when I'm playing. Like that's just me in my in-game mindset. Like I don't care if you have optic in your game or tag. Like I want to beat you, so I'm gonna make sure I beat you type of thing. Like at that point, like I forget about your game or tag. I don't know who you are. Like in-game to me, you're a random. I don't care if you have optic in your gamer tag, Echo Fox, like that's just a gamer tag at that point. Like I, like, I don't care what's your gamer tag. Like, the icon when I mark you, I'm only calling out your gamer tag for my teammates know who you are. Like, that's about it. Like, that's my in-game mindset. Like, I, when the game's over, I know you're good. Even if we're playing optic, I'm like, yo, optic. I know optic is one of the best players, one of the best teams in the game. But I'm not gonna feel that way when the game starts. So that's that's like something that like I've been preaching since day one. Like free agents need to stop having egos and actually scrim with each other. Like if you guys aren't forming teams and trying to be the best, because you don't want to aim to be the second best. You don't want to be you don't want to aim to be the third best. You want to aim to be the fucking best player in the game. So best team in the game. So stop egoing each other, guys. Come on, like I haven't seen this. Since too, I've been seeing this way too much lately on Twitter, man. I go to Twitter, load up my, load up my timeline, and bro, the amount of ego I see on my timeline, like literally, that like, gets me mad. Then I have people on Twitter messaging me talking about, "Hey, man, um, I'm getting ego, da da da." Like this guy doesn't want to scream at me because I don't call out. This guy doesn't want to scream at me because of my gamer tag. I'm like, bro, like, come on, guys, like. Is it really that serious to the point you don't even want to scrim with them? Like, that's just crazy to me, man. Another thing they have to do is, like, they need to actually update the seasons on the competitive playlist. And I truly believe there should only be one game mode, either competitive shotgun or core shotgun. Just stick it throughout the whole game, not two separate game types. Because I have had a lot of people sending messages saying they hate core. And these come from people that actually play for a lot. So, that's all I have to say for you guys, man.
I'll end up finding out what I should do with all this information because I kind of want to give the collision feedback, so I might just, you know, send this video to them or something. I don't know, man. The important parts that involve the game. Um, because consistently changing a game isn't, like, the worst part. Like, I don't mind the game changing every other month or whatever. It's just the fact that we're still in the beta stage. In this playtest, not playtest, but like playlist or whatever, the, the play scrims and whatnot. And the Mexico event is six weeks away. Like, that's honestly mind blowing to me. The Mexico event is right there. And of course, your boy Domes is gonna go. I'm not gonna miss no events this year. But like, something has to happen, man. Like, it needs to be fixed. Something has to be done. Something has to change. And I hope it changes soon, man. Like, this is crazy to me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> um, If you guys liked the video, like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, it's been your boy, Domes. And I'm out, baby. She's empty. Ballin' no NBA, I be ballin' out with that bobble with that damn switch in a kitchen.